I am now building a javelin after my farm knife success but I didn't think of recording this until I'm quite a ways into it so there's a pole um, so I've cut this off there that, that's how it used to be I just cut that off using of course all the proper tools and all the health and safety rules you betcha I was wearing eye protection for sure <laughs> anyway cut the slit down there and then just marked down the middle uh, so that's not a, all the way through slit but it allows me when I hammer on this to, to bend it uh, using my trusty portable anvil uh, which is a piece of junk that I found on the property and of course the tip of the javelin which is going to be the uh, discarded second part of the shears is going to slot in here I just have to hold it with something while I well I can't do this with one hand because this has moved a bit since I hammered it but you get the general idea that has to slot down so that that notch hits the edge of the metal and you see where that hole is that will slide all the way down in here and then I'm gonna put again a pin to hold it there a pin to hold it there and we'll see how it goes so I'll uh, do a bit more work on it and uh, catch you in a minute or so. Uh, it's taken longer than a minute or so. But you can see there's just a normal nail through the top little hole. And through the bottom, it's not quite straight, but that's okay because it keeps it really quite well fixed in. It's another piece of metal. Now what I'm going to do is cut this off here and here. And using the uh, little grinder to try and butterfly the ends. Uh, this is going to be a tough one because that nail is about the same width as the as the cutting disc. So I don't know if that'll work. We'll find out in a minute. And finally, the finished product. So there it is. Butterflied pretty well on the big uh, big pin. Uh, one side snapped off there, but to be expected. And then I sort of um, ground it down a little bit with the with the cutter. And also on the small one, the butterfly bit broke off. But it's very, very steady. Um, it's not going to come off. It rattles a little bit. Uh, the only way I can improve this is with a welding torch um, to, you know, weld this bit to the blade properly. Maybe make a little cutting there, flatten this out, and weld this as well. But I don't have a welding kit yet, so that's about it. My um, my daughter's comment on it was, Wow, Dad, are you getting ready for the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> so, I guess so. guess I'm ready. <laughs> well, that's it. That's uh, my second tool with the other bit of the shears. And uh, I think I'll do for now.